I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's working waterfront. Hello from the Blair Waterway. Cargo ships come and go here each week, connecting the terminals of the Northwest Seaport Alliance with the world. This summer, there's a new effort to decarbonize the movement of containers on these piers. The Port of Tacoma is now using renewable diesel in its fleet of heavy duty vehicles, including the giant straddle carriers that move containers at Husky Terminal. Until vehicles that run on conventional diesel can be electrified, the port is turning to a new product called R99. It's made from the same materials as biodiesel, but it's more refined, which means it can be easily dropped into diesel tanks no modifications needed. R99 burns cleaner than conventional diesel, which means exhaust filters don't get clogged, saving maintenance costs. It makes the equipment run better. I'm all in now with this. This green alternative is the right now alternative. R99's environmental benefits depend on the mix of ingredients. The EPA estimates on average it reduces life cycle greenhouse gas emissions by 60 to 75 percent compared with petroleum diesel. And the price of R99 is now in line with conventional diesel. To see an in-depth story about the fuel transition and how it fits into the port's decarbonization goals, visit the news page at portoftacoma.com. We have new design drawings to share of the future Port Maritime Center. Interior images show a new 60,000 square foot business center where port employees will work and commissioners will hold public meetings. The new port offices will be built along the Foss Waterway next door to Tacoma Public Schools Maritime 253 Skills Center. The center will provide career and technical education to students from across Pierce County free of charge. Some students are getting an introduction to maritime careers this summer. In July, they visited businesses in the Tide Flats, including Foss Maritime Company, as part of Tacoma Public Schools summer certification programs. In June, port commissioners approved funding to support the program. Young people are also working this summer on port habitat sites. Members of Northwest Youth Corps built tree rings and spread mulch around native plants to protect them from invasive grasses at the place of circling waters. It's hard work, but it's really rewarding. You see exactly what you are able to accomplish in a day at your own, with your own power and with your own skills. The high school aged youth in the Sound to Summit program spent five weeks working on community projects and then a week camping at Mount Rainier. The port is taking a new step to clean up contaminated industrial land. In July, port commissioners authorized funding to plan remediation work to address contamination at the site of the former Arkema chemical plant. The port bought the property along the Hylobos waterway in 2007 to clean it up for redevelopment. The port does this the best in terms of cleaning up lands and putting it back to good use. Commissioners also approved demolishing old buildings and removing unused railroad tracks once used by Progress Rail. The work will make that property more suitable for future tenants. Port commissioners meet at least once a month at the Fabulich Center off Port of Tacoma Road. Meetings start at noon and public comment is welcome. To get agendas by email, sign up at portoftacoma.com for our newsletter, Pierside. We made a big commitment to developing uh, salmon habitat. Earside subscribers were the first to find out when free tickets became available for our annual boat tours on Sunday, August 18th. Tickets for the six one hour tours were all reserved in just a few hours, but you still have a chance to get aboard. You can go to the tours and events page at portoftacoma.com and get on the wait list for tickets, or you can come down to Foss Waterway Seaport Museum on August 18th and get in a standby line for the tour you'd like to take. Another popular annual event is coming this fall. Touch a Truck will be held outside the Ports Administration Building on Saturday, September 28th from 10 to 2. This family-friendly event is free. It's a great chance for kids to get a close-up look at the big equipment working at the port. 
Finally this month, the port is out and about all around Pierce County this summer. In July, port staff hosted booths at both the Tacoma Pride Festival and Mosaic Fest. The port is also joining farmers markets in Tacoma, Stillicum, Ording, Puyallup, and DuPont. On Thursday, August 22nd, the port is sponsoring a concert in the park in Puyallup, featuring Darren Jones and Last Men Standing. Thank you for joining us from the Blair Waterway. We are back in September with another edition of Working Waterfront.